Short Sale Information, Short Sale Specialist, Mike Wrigley discusses postponing foreclosure sale dates. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your Short Sale Specialist here. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, today let's talk about uh, foreclosure sale date postponements and when you're participating in a, in a uh, short sale. Now, the big disclaimer is here is there are no magic bullets and never ever can we guarantee that if you have a foreclosure sale date coming up that the sale will be postponed. We absolutely can't. This is a wild gamble that a few if any short sale agents really want to take on. We do quite frequently. This process gives me more gray hair than I ever care to mention. Now, one of the more, most important pieces to the short sale foreclosure sale date postponement process is to have a good offer in hand and submitted, to have a complete short sale package in front of the lender, and it really helps to know who the investor is. If it's Fannie or Freddie, we have contacts there to escalate to. Now, the services and investors are all about mitigating loss. We know from experience that on a typical short sale sold at near farm fair market value, the short sale will net the investor or the servicer 20 to 30 percent more than the same foreclosure sold at the same price. Remember, it's always about the money. Always. The important thing to know when your foreclosure sale date is and what time. The trickiest of them all is the Monday morning foreclosure sale date. You have to be sure that you've got confirmation on Friday afternoon to feel good going through the weekend that you're not going to lose that property to sale on come Monday morning. Man, that's a tough weekend if you don't have confirmation. So, how do you go about getting a foreclosure sale date postponed? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it helps to have a good offer that makes sense for the investor to risk another 30 to 60 days waiting for the approval and for you to close escrow. The process usually starts about a week to 10 days out prior to the sale. Many banks and servicers won't even consider a postponement until a week out, so watching your timeline is very, very important. Usually, we can work through the normal channels to get the sale date postponed, but there are times when we have to escalate the file. Quite frankly, if we don't have a confirmation four days prior to the sale, then we are in escalation mode, and the closer the date gets, the higher we escalate. <laughs> Quite a, frankly, our latest cha uh, chase escalation caused quite a stir, but we were successful. And it really doesn't matter to me if Chase is angry or not. It's really about taking care of the seller that counts. Now, the key to a good postponement and escalation is stating your story in a quick, concise manner and never, ever make it personal. Once you've made it personal, then you've lost. This is a business transaction, pure and simple. Is it an art form? Oh, yes, absolutely. You could say that. Um, but it is also an art form that we have mastered. Need the masters on your side? Call us. We'll give you a hand. Now, is a short sale right for you? Give me a call. Let's talk about your situation. And to get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info and you get a free report. It tells you what your house will be worth and how long it will take to get back to zero. Now, if you need to have any questions, give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you. Remember, you call me today, you'll sleep better tonight, and I'll look forward to talking to you. Thanks for joining us today.